This is a president that throughout has tried to project a feeling of hope as the coronavirus rips through the world and his country. Now bringing in the CEO of a pharmaceutical company to the White House to herald the results of a possible treatment, Remdesivir. Really people that are not doing well, people that are sick, people that have this horrible uh, plague that's set into our country and that we're getting rid of and we're going to be we're going to be having some really incredible results. We have uh, very promising studies coming out on the vaccines. We have promising studies coming out on uh, therapeutics. In the first widespread trial of the drug, it did shorten the length of the hospitalization stays for the virus, and it slightly decreased the mortality rate. But scientists say it's the first real hope that a drug can work against the virus. We have to remember this is the very first one. It's a new drug being used for this. And it showed, uh, I, w I would call it a bright spot in the search, just what, 90 days after being notified of this, of a drug that looks like it's uh, got very promising results. And the company that makes it says it will donate its stockpile, which the Food and Drug Administration cleared for use on Friday. We'll be working with the government to determine how best to uh, uh, distribute that uh, within the United States. We'll be working very closely to get that to patients, working with uh, FEMA, working with other parts of the government to make sure that we get that to the patients in need as quickly as possible because there are patients out there that can benefit from this medicine today that are hospitalized and we don't want any time to waste for that. The White House trying to project a sense of hope of a near return to normal for the country. But as some states begin to reopen, like Georgia, foreboding numbers, an additional 1,000 cases diagnosed in a single day, and experts say it'll take as many as two weeks to determine the true cost as cities and towns begin to reopen. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera.